Hey, what is up guys? My name is Abir and you are watching Money Matters, where you take control of your finances. So on this channel, I try to make uh, money and finance related videos uh, and also about the stocks. So if you are interested, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So starting with the uh, Facebook page. So this is the Facebook investors uh, page uh, the link I'll put in the description box below as well. Uh, so they have a very informative uh, account and a page here where you see stock data, stock chart, historical price lookup, investment calculator, and analyst coverage. The interesting part here, what I found is if you put your uh, um, your investment like how much ever you wanted to invest at any given time and end date you'll be able to compare facebook stock uh, with the s p 500 nasdaq and dow 30. so what i did is i put uh, ten thousand dollars as an initial investment if i uh, made that investment in the beginning of this year uh, and at the uh, end of today uh, what i will be calculating is the total return so if you see here uh, the first column is for facebook the second is s p 500 nasdaq and dow so if you have invested same amount of money in all of these four different uh, three indexes and then one uh, share you would have uh, gotten a total return which will be which would be in the negatives but uh, if you pay a closer look nasdaq 100 is the best performing in short term so if you are someone who has just started investing i would say go with nasdaq 100 because uh, that's the top 100 companies and because most of these companies are um, information technology related and as we all know recently in recent times we have seen that those technology companies have been doing really well so that's why return is a uh, little in the red compared to the other um, indexes so other index uh, s p 500 and dow have all seen um, better days for sure and then uh, if we talk about facebook and what happened in uh, a past week or so the facebook stock has uh, tanked the value of the stock has tanked from uh, 232 to today was uh, trending around 220 um, which which basically shed uh, close to 60 billion us dollars uh, which is a big number so if you have invested ten thousand uh, uh, dollars in the beginning of this year in all of these you would have had uh, $8,300.32 and some change uh, in Facebook or $8,400 in S&P 500, 9000 in NASDAQ and 8100 in Dow. So uh, Dow is the, is the worst performing here uh, index and then the best is NASDAQ 100 just because it has a bunch of IT related companies in it. So that's that's what uh, a very interesting uh, calculator that I found on uh, Facebook site. So uh, I'll share the link in the description box below so you can you can uh, compare all these uh, stats. If you wanna go, you can change the date of this uh, calculator, uh, like a start date, you can change it and then calculate the return of S&P 500, NASDAQ, though, compared to Facebook. Uh, so uh, the point that I wanted to make here uh, is that uh, Facebook we all have been seeing uh, have seen uh, a drastic uh, decline in the stock price uh, it was trending around uh, 240 on um, Tuesday and uh, June 23rd and the price now is hovering around 220 this is a uh, price from Friday so it has gained some six dollars or something so uh, it is now trending at uh, 222 dollars around 222 dollars uh, which is a still I think it's uh, not a bad uh, stock value if you think about the corporations that have taken out uh, from their advertisements uh, such as Unilever uh, Verizon and these are uh, just big names um, Coke uh, so these are just the big names there are a bunch of other small companies as well um, which have you know backed off from advertising on Facebook but let's just give 
negative uh, look in the financials uh, of uh, Facebook quarterly. Uh, so in March 2020, the previous quarter, uh, the revenue was 17.74 billion dollars uh 17.64 percent jump uh, year over year which means last year in march 2019 the revenue was this uh 17 percent less than uh this year uh 2020's revenue so this is a big jump and if you see here everything is in re is in green so which means um everything that uh, Facebook is doing uh, was working for them until this uh, last week and um, uh, it, it's it's a little shame that a company of that size you know has been seeing uh, such enormous growth uh, year over year but now they are uh, facing this uh, action uh, taken by so many other companies uh, saying that you know uh, it's not ethical to advertise on Facebook anymore uh, but another important thing that I wanted to uh, point out here uh, is that uh, a lot of companies if you see have uh, backed off from uh, from advertising but just for one month so they are saying that until until july they will be um, stopping uh, the ads so it's not like they are not gonna come back so uh, for one month obviously the uh, the price will be um will be you know uh, down and everything but it might bounce back and once facebook bounce back it's gonna go high and high uh, so if you see one week um of um, Facebook value, uh, the worth has dropped a lot, and uh, this basically translates to close to um, close to 50 billion because uh, close to 10 billion dollar it gained today, and just with the few uh, percentage increase. If you see here, 2.11 uh, percent increase, it has uh, seen a few billion dollars come in in the bank, basically close to 10 billion dollars. Uh, so. And this is the stock uh, that face uh, facebook stocks looks like uh, another interesting thing i wanted to point out uh, before moving to our next um next stock is that uh, the if you see the stock data here um and uh, let me let me show you the financials here uh, for stock uh, this stock basically was earning um a lot so all these um, um, companies uh, basically publish these reports quarterly earning reports and stuff like that uh, so if you are interested you can go ahead and read those uh, basically it gives you an idea of how much uh, you know they are making what is the balance sheet looks like and everything like that so you can download the balance sheet and uh, go through uh, their uh, quarterly meetings uh, and earnings uh, so that 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 is it uh, for facebook uh, let's now talk about uh, totus uh, totus incorporation or uh, totus acquisition corporation is with the ticker symbol s h l l uh, has seen some crazy growth um, in recent times in one month if you see uh, the stock price was hovering about ten dollars and there was no trade going on literally there's nothing going on if you see here the line is pretty straight and <laughs> there's nothing going on here uh, all the prices is, is just hovering about uh, at the same point and then um, on June 18th uh, the the basically someone created uh, a noise about uh, Tortoise acquisition and how it is acquiring another famous um, startup uh, Halion or Halion uh, I, I don't even know how to pronounce it right but uh, this is the startup basically sold out uh, to Tortoise. Uh, Tortoise is basically an acquisition company as it as the name implies uh, but uh, seeing such a growth um, is little uh, it's little sketchy to me honestly and uh, uh, but there are a few things that that are going in Tortoise favor uh, so let me sh let me let me me talk about those first um, and those are if you go here uh, 
uh, there are other companies who are talking about this company uh, and how it has been uh, doing and all of that so I found one article uh, published 11 months ago uh, and if you r read through this article uh, what what it says is basically uh, let me let me show you uh, where I wanted to uh, point out the important thing here for you all. Um, where is it? So yeah, with the market capitalization um, of uh, 285 million dollars, uh, Tordos acquisition is a small cap of stock. So basically, it's an acquisition company which acquired different other companies uh, to uh, to make living basically and this is uh, the first company um, of uh, of its kind Helion that they have acquired uh, not saying this is the first uh, company overall but this is one of the uh, famous companies that that started you know trending uh, especially uh, among the Robin Hood investors and then uh, people grab onto um, that share and then they realize that uh, Tordo's acquisition is uh, going to happen and then um, all of a sudden you see the spike here uh, so the thing that is going on in favor of Tordo's is uh, that uh, people are creating some uh, you know good social signals which are good for uh, good for um, artificial intelligence bots uh, that work and buy shares and stuff like that so um, those are uh, you know uh, that that's a good signal going on uh, and then if you talk about uh, if you talk about the uh, the media uh, that is uh, talking about Tordos, it's like crazy. On YouTube, there are a bunch of people. If you just search uh, Tordos uh, Corporation, you'll see a bunch of a uh, bunch of videos uh, from so many other YouTubers uh, who are uh, creating this you know uh, this hype for around this, and uh, they have seen some crazy growth as you can see uh, from. Uh, from the share value uh, the red signals that I wanted to talk about next are if you see here a uh, number of employees and uh, there are only four employees for this company again uh, I compared uh, last time I compared Tesla with Nikola and uh, mm, uh, there, there there were a bunch of guys who were not uh, you know happy with my comparison they were saying it's a startup and I should understand how a startup works and all of that but uh, to be honest um, as uh, as an investor um, I don't think personally that this is a company that I would invest in but if you're make if you want to make a quick buck you know why not invest in such a company which will give you 222 uh, percent in a return in a month uh, you won't be getting uh, that much uh, in any other uh, big size you know blue chip company uh, but anyway this this is the first uh, red signal here right here employees for employees um, and then founded in 2018 and then uh, if you go here Tordos Corporation was founded in 2006 which doesn't make sense and this is Bloomberg uh, so either Bloomberg is um, not not so correct or Tordos is not so correct I don't know Tordos Corporation maybe they are talking about some other company it's a consumer discretionary uh, sector in a, a retail um, industry so I'm pretty sure this is something else but uh, Japan is the headquarters address and if you see here uh, the headquarters uh, here is in uh, Kansas Leewood Kansas so um, there's that so another red signal, uh, the uh, third and the last uh, red signal that I want to talk about uh, is the average volume uh, for this. Uh, so what average volume, if you're a new investor, I wanted to make sure uh, that we are all on the same page before I discuss this point. Average volume is uh, stands for the number of shares that um, that have been you know traded, uh, bought or sold in in a given day. So average volume. Uh, is 10 uh, 10 point three five uh, million shares right and if a share basically uh, is around thirty two dollars uh, then ten point three five million times uh, thirty two is over three hundred uh, twenty uh, million 
dollars and the worth of the company if you see here the market cap is 927 million dollars so what it means is um, more than one third of the company uh, is not depending on the uh, on the investors but depending on the Re robin hood investors <laughs> and so it's not about the uh, company which is basically um, out there but uh, it, it's uh, and the products that they have but it's about the investors from robin hood uh, which have you know invested in uh, this company uh, so with that said let me show you one last thing before going and then you can make a decision whether you want to invest in this tortoise company acquisition company or not uh, and the last thing is if you search tortoise corporation uh, and you see the results the first one is definitely not the tortoise that we are looking for it's a tortoise energy infrastructure which is tyg uh, in new york stock exchange then we have tortoiseadvisors.com so that's again not not what we are looking for so seo if you talk about seo uh, rest in peace seo then uh, the third result is the tortoise acquisition corp uh, basically uh, new york stock exchange and and ticker symbol S H L L. But if you click on this, if you click on this, you will see a dead page here. Yes, that's correct. Then the company that you are investing in doesn't even have a website. So good luck investing in that company. I am not an investor. Um, so uh, that's why uh, I think I'm out. <laughs> but uh, for this company to uh, sh get these kind of crazy gains, um, I'm pretty sure that most of this money is coming from Robinhood investors. And whoever is holding on to uh, the stock for uh, for this much uh, overnight, <laughs> I would I would say uh, please don't take risk and you know uh, think a little sensibly uh, so that's about it thank you guys for watching uh, if you guys like this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't already subscribed subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video till then take care of yourself and people around you goodbye